Hi folks, welcome to Network Empire. My name is Matt DeCruz. I'm the co-developer of Domain Web Studio. And what I'm going to do today is I just want to give you a top level overview before we actually jump into the suite and just show you briefly what's going to happen when you're actually inside Domain Web Studio. Now, the reason why we're creating these videos is to simplify everything for you so that it becomes super easy to use the tool because it's extremely powerful. So the, the system is broken down into three core stages and the first stage that we're going to look at is market research, keyword discovery and site structure and design. Okay, So what you're going to do in DWS is basically the following steps. You're going to create an empire for your site. The reason why we call it an empire is because you can have multiple sites or projects within an empire. Once you've created your empire, you'll then create a site within the empire which will be your primary money site or it could be a campaign for a single keyword that you're targeting. The next thing we're going to do is our market discovery or market research and we're going to go to the market and find the pains in the market and what we'll do is once we understand what the pains are usually they are accompanied by a question. We'll look at that question and we'll extract keywords out of those questions to give us the primary keywords that we want to draw. We'll drill into keywords using the keyword tools of choice and build up a list of keywords that we can actually import into DWS. We'll import those keywords and then we'll configure the project by defining our business rules for the site. And the reason why we define business rules is we want to make sure that every single keyword we target is profitable. We want to make understand how long it's going to take us to get ranked for that keyword. We want to understand how much it's going to cost to get ranked for the keyword. We want to understand how much content we need to develop to get that keyword ranked for far, with far fewer inbound links. And once we understand all the information, we'll then map out the silo architecture structure of the site. This is the site framework. These are the, this is the steps we do in phase one, and that is basically identifying the market, finding the pain in the market, and then mapping out the site structure to address those pains in the market and providing the best viable solutions. Next, we're going to go to stage two. And in stage two, we're going to basically look at our framework, and per page, or per keyword within our framework, we're going to assign synonyms and supporting keywords. We class this as the synonymic set keyword management. In stage two, we're going to do our content assignment and development, and then we're going to be publishing and optimizing our site in stage two. So the steps you go through there is, one, we're going to bind synonyms and supporting keywords to each page in our silo structure. Why do we do this? We need to give a very clear message to the search engines of what that page is about. And this also helps with the theming of the site to get the proper silo architecture in place. Next, we're going to assign the content to whoever's going to write the content. They will write the content and put it into DWS for us. We will then publish and build the website within seconds, which will save us countless hours of time using the WP Silo Builder from DWS. Once our site's loved and optimized, we will promote and drive traffic to our website. In stage three, this is all about promotion. We're going to look at promotion management, promotion content management, and RS syndication management. Okay. So once our website's live, we're going to create a promotional blueprint. And within DWS, the system will take everything you've mapped out into account. It'll take your competition into account, the page rank, all these SEO factors, and it'll create a promotional plan for you that's specific to the site that you're building. So whether it's a one keyword site that you're targeting or a 10,000 e-commerce store that you're building out, the promotional plan will take absolutely every factor into account and give you the best promotional plan of how you should syndicate and get your content out across the web to drive more traffic to your site. We will then go and create the promotional content and media. We'll publish the promotions and drive traffic to our site. Okay. Now when we publish our content and we put the links back into DWS of where we place the content, this will create our RSS out of DWS. And this feed will then go through um, our one feed system which will basically syndicate and propagate your message across the web. This in turn will drive traffic, which will then lead to generating leads and sales. Okay, so let's just take a top level overview of what we're essentially dealing with. If we're promoting a single keyword, okay, there's our one page website with one keyword. It has a synonymic set bound to it with the keywords that are defining that actual page that we're interested in getting ranked for. And then the promotional plan gives us all the promotions we need to do for driving traffic to that primary site and as we publish our promotions and log where we publish them the RSS one feed boost 
basically kicks in and drives backlinks to our backlinks which then spreads our word and drives more traffic to our site. The same happens if you're promoting a whole site. You get the same type of network structure for every single page. This creates point page rank which basically helps your website's pages get ranked more as well as get internal page rank. And then finally with DWS we can build out entire networks. So if this was our primary website by the time we've gone through the whole promotional campaign, we end up with a social web, we end up with our WR2 web rings, we'll have the WR2 social web rings, and these are pseudo type branded sites where we are speaking about the other keywords that we want to get ranked for. And we've got our WR3s, which most times you don't need to do, but if the keywords are very competitive in your competitive market, we can build our web string out. And this gives you the entire Sonomic net, and this is how you swallow the web whole using the Network Empire's Domain Web Studio stackable system. So before I go on with anything else, I'd just like to welcome you. Thank you for taking the time to look at our tool, and I hope that this brief introduction gives you an idea of what we're going to be doing. Now, don't let all the big terminology and things like freak you out and scare you. Just remember you've got a step-by-step -step process which is dynamic. It merges and moves with you depending on what you're doing. So every blueprint is different, therefore every promotion will be different, therefore the end results will be fluid with what you're trying to do. Your primary goal throughout this whole process is one, is to get your website ranked, two, is to create your audience and communicate effectively with them, and three, is to get your message across the entire web and not just in a few places. So have fun and I'll see you on the inside.